in the previous lesson we logged into moodle for the very first time and in this lesson we will become familiar with the interface within moodle and learn how to navigate comfortably within moodle the very first screen i have configured after login is the institute's home page this is where my moodle lands to after logging in if your screen looks different from what you have here I would like to reiterate that it will be because your Moodle administrator would have configured the look and feel differently. At the end of this lesson and this section, you will become quite comfortable with navigating yourself through Moodle. So do not worry if your Moodle looks slightly different. The first thing you have to notice and get very familiar with are these rectangular areas called as blocks. These blocks are the most fundamental interface units in your Moodle design. They provide various functionalities which can be highly customized and much of your interactions with Moodle will occur through various blocks. The center area is where you will find the key content of the pages, including the actual course, which we will see shortly. Now, let us look at the blocks. I have available by default on my Moodle. One of the most important is the navigation block that I have on my left hand side. On my right hand side, I have various blocks which include upcoming events, the calendar and a few other utilities. Let us look at the navigation block with some more detail. Where I am currently at is the site home or the home page. The icon next to it is a small square which signifies that this item cannot be expanded further and the text here is a direct link. However, the next item on the list has a right facing triangle icon. This is a list that will expand to show you more links on the site pages. When you expand it, you will see it has all the links inside. Whenever you expand a list, you will also notice that its icon changes to a bottom facing triangle like so. The item, my courses, lists all the courses that you will be teaching or all courses that you are enrolled into in some capacity more into that in a later lesson. The default interface with Moodle 3.0 has changed recently in that the links to edit my profile, to access my dashboard, etc. are now placed in a very convenient drop down next to my profile picture on the right hand top side of the screen here. I can click on this Profile link to edit my profile, change my profile, upload a profile picture and other configurations. In the next lesson, this is exactly what we will explore. How to set up our profile. So, I will see you in the next lesson.